Well, the change is outlined in President Biden's new budget proposal. It calls for identifying a new site for that FBI headquarters, and that's because for years, FBI leaders and lawmakers have described the J. Edgar Hoover building that's over on Pennsylvania Avenue Northwest as old and deteriorating. And expect to hear more of that as local senators push their backyards as the best choice for the Bureau's new home. We would love this. We're, we're bullish uh, on the Maryland sites. The search for a new FBI headquarters is on after the budget blueprint for the Biden administration included this. During the next year, the FBI and GSA will work to identify a location to construct a federally owned, modern and secure facility for at least 7,500 personnel in the suburbs. We're going to make our best case. Senators Tim Kaine from Virginia and Chris Van Hollen from Maryland, both hopeful that their state will win. I think FBI employees have a heavy Virginia presence. And as you know, the FBI has significant activity on the Quantico uh, Marine base. You need that campus-like setting. You also need a great transportation uh, network. And the two sites in Prince George's County have that. The General Services Administration has already looked at the GSA Franconia Warehouse Complex in Springfield, the former Landover Mall, and part of the Greenbelt Metro Station. <laughs> Prince George's County leaders pitched that location almost 10 years ago. We're tired of Prince George's being red line, by line, side line. As the Obama administration prioritized moving the FBI headquarters. But the Trump administration scrapped that plan in 2017. And now it's back. Local leaders are lobbying to bring that new facility to their area. It's a big prize, a project worth billions of dollars, and the chance to be the home of the FBI. All right, now as far as the timeline, the budget called for the GSA to decide on the location within the next year. Senator Van Hollen thinks it's realistic, though, to have an answer within 180 days since these three sites have already been vetted. Till then, work continues at the old FBI building downtown. Adam? Well, let's hope that we finally get a decision one way or the other and soon. Evan, thanks.